You could build this cornhole game. It's as simple as building two flat open frame boxes. I used a half sheet of plywood. In this case, one half inch thick sandy ply. It already has a smooth finish. It paints well, the corn bags slide well, and there's less prep work. I cut the sheet in half. So now I have two sheets, two by four feet, plywood for the tops. I did give the edges a quick sand just to reduce any splinters. The materials mentioned here are to build a set or two boxes. There'll be a full list at the end of this video. The sides, the box sides or its frames are made from two befores. You'll need four two befores cut 48 inches in length. The frame ends will be two befores also. They are 21 inches in length. You'll need four of these. Each box will need two short legs for its tilt up. These are two befores cut 11 and a half inches. You need to round off one end of each leg. The plans call for a three inch circle, which works great. It allows the leg to rotate underneath. A compass, if you have one, would work here. I use a small container of wood putty. Just put it on, traced it, cut it out with a jigsaw. For the actual construction, I did it all with drywall and deck screws. The frames got number eight screws, three inches long. You'll need four three eighths inch by four and a half inch carriage bolts to hold the legs on. Zinc works fine. A flat washer and a butterfly nut for easy loosening and tightening or that set up and break down. Place one leg inside the frame, clamp it in place and drill a hole for the bolt. I just eyeballed the center. Put the head facing out. Tap the carriage bolt in place with a hammer. This keeps it from turning when you're tightening the nut. The tops were fastened down with number eight screws, inch and five eighths. These were drywall screws. I sunk these into the top a bit so that I could put some putty in the hole to paint over it. Next, you'll need to cut the holes for the corn bags. This six inch hole is centered 12 inches from the side and nine inches down from the top. Mark the spot, use a compass or a piece of string with a pencil. I drilled several holes in here to drop in my jigsaw blade. I cut it out, sanded it smooth. I trimmed the legs a slight angle to allow them to sit flat on surfaces. And now, get creative with your artwork. A custom design, creative paint scheme, personalize them. Paint them and let them dry. I use latex enamel, but you might want to think enamel if you're going to leave them outside all the time. The bags are usually made from light canvas and they're filled with feed corn, thus cornhole. I purchased mine. It was a easier and a lot less expensive than me sewing them up. So, Set the games up, find some regulations online if you want to be that official, and plant the corn. Look, if you enjoyed this page, subscribe below. Thank you. And here's that list of materials. Bring that back. Can you take this one? All right, let's go. Come on. Bring it.